What's up everybody? So today I'm going to show you how I create the effect of getting a super dark background in my drawings. I'm going to be using these two products. Let's get to business. First thing I want to show you is using this 9B pure graphite pencil. Um, and this is a woodless pencil. It is completely dark. It gives you the effect of a pitch dark black background. But then again, it's not the black that I'm looking for. I'll show you why. So I'm just going to go ahead and shade in this portion of my drawing with this 9B pencil. And now I'm using a blending stump to blend it. And as you can see, it's dark, but it's not black. It doesn't really add much value to the drawing. If you go over a couple of times with the pencil, you might achieve a darker effect, but I prefer the other two products. <coughs> Okay, so let's get to the first experiment. I'm using the charcoal powder and I'll use a brush to blend it. Nah, this does not look good at all. Let's try it with a tissue. I'll just fold it down like that. And yes, that is exactly what I'm looking for. It is giving me that super dark background that I'm actually looking for. Just the right value. This value of black will really make your drawing pop out, especially if you have a, a lot of black background in your drawing. Okay, so I think if I keep adding more charcoal, it's going to give me darker result. But now let's try with the pan pastel. Okay, and I'm going to use a blending stump. It is good, but then again, it's not blending very smoothly. I can feel that it's too rough on the paper. And I'm afraid it may dam damage the paper, so I wouldn't recommend using a blending stump. Let's use the tissue again. All right, that is amazing. That is even darker than the charcoal powder, and I think I'm going to be using this all over my drawing. So this is the completed drawing. If you want to see how I did this piece, you'll find the link in the description box below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video.